me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Hi, welcome back to July Haulathon. Today is the third instalment, so the third haul. I am doing a haul every other day for a fortnight. So there's seven hauls basically, and I've done the first two, so this is the third one, and this is a huge lush haul. And I'd never been to the Oxford Street Lush Hall, the new flagship store, I'd never been there. And neither had my sister, and my sister's a huge Lush fan, so we both went there together. I scooped up Rupert to pick him up, as I do when I take him, and to go in the shop and stuff. And uh, they were like, oh, you can walk him in here, we're dog friendly. And they grabbed him a bowl, and I was like, oh my god. Can I just say, we're in there for like two and a half hours, and like, the poor lush person that was taking us on. I just feel like in your job description to be like a lush person you have to be a babe because they're all absolutely lovely, they're all flawless, they all know their stuffs and they're not on a commission basis, they literally just know what they're talking about and give you advice much like we do here on the tubes. Speaking of tubes though, that was a day of the huge strike so that was really unfortunate but huge thank you to all of the staff at the Lush Oxford Street store. I also met Becky O, which was very exciting. My sister's watched her for like eight years or something, so my sister was like, oh my god. Um, so yeah, I had an absolutely lovely time, so thank you so much. You can see the size of my bag, do you? It's so pretty too, it's like so perfect for me, I love it. I was like, she was going to pack it in like, oh I can't have that there. She was going to pack it in an orangey one, and I was like, I'm really sorry if this is really weird, but can I have the pink bag? And she was like, yeah you can, so I just like the pink bag, I was like, it's gotta go, it's gotta go on my YouTubes for my uh, thumbnail. Right, that's 3 minutes and 55 seconds that I have been talking, so I'm gonna start! Yes! I really wanted to do this haul with Joanna, my sister, because she knows her stuff way better than I do about Lush, and obviously we'd just been and we were gonna do it there and then when we got home, but because of the tube strike we literally had to walk everywhere, and we got home at 1 in the morning, when we'd actually planned to get home at about 4 in the afternoon. So yeah! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, no particular order, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. And uh, I'm not one of those people that knows what they're talking about when it comes to Lush, so this is just what I got. The exciting thing about the Oxford Circus, the Oxford Street uh, Lush, sorry, is that they have exclusive products there that you won't find online or anywhere else, which is really fun. Which is really ex fun, exciting, it's been a long day. First off, I just wanna show you this. This is one of those bow knot wrap things that you can buy like a bath bomb in, but I like to buy these for my hair. So this one is like Dalmatian print, I really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna, well not like that, because obviously that won't fit, we do it the uh, the triangle way, and I absolutely love it, and they're really inexpensive, and they always smell nice, because they've been with Lush stuff, extra tip there. I'm gonna do the face masks now, so that I can go and put them back in the fridge, because they shouldn't really be out of the fridge too long. So we actually got a sample of the rosy cheeks face mask. I'd already picked up two face masks and I was like, oh, I kind of really want the rosy one, but I don't know. So she's put it in a little, if you just ask, they'll sample it for you. But it smells absolutely gorgeous. I'm just like, I want a whole one of those. How do you open this? Ah. Oh my gosh. It just smells absolutely lovely and there's quite, there's a whole face worth there. So I, I can't wait to try this out and see if I want to get the full size and that is to combat redness, I believe. Then I've got the, don't look at me, uh, face mask and this is eyes on the prize. Let your, let down your masks after masking yourself with Miru Miru, that's a funny word. <laughs> Miru Miru butter to moisturise the skin. Keep it in the fridge. So, uh, I'm very excited to try that. This is a very pale blue colour. There's absolutely no point. I'm so not good. It just smells very fresh. <laughs> and then I got the cup of coffee face and body mask and this is an exfoliating mask that wakes up the skin, leaving it smooth and soft. Of course, it smells like coffee. Oh my god. So I'm not a coffee drinker. I absolutely just, it's just, ugh. Uh, but I love, I absolutely love the smell, so that's perfect. Why wouldn't I want to rub that on my face? I didn't get this this day, I just wanted to include it. This is the Gay Is Okay soap, so obviously Lush are amazing with campaigns. At the moment they're doing the Who Let The Dogs Out, ban, Keep The Ban, Fox Hunting one, and um, 
absolutely love that they support causes like that. So they had, they came out with this a couple of weeks ago. I believe it was like the day of, or the day before, or the day after the American law passed. But it smells like oranges. It smells very zesty and it reminds me of my grandma's bathroom so I really like it. <laughs> but I haven't used that as of yet but I just wanted to uh, show you that one. This is the Golden Handshake Hot Hand Mask and it was 2 95 So basically I was just attracted to this because it looked like a cake pop. <laughs> this was actually by the door and probably one of the first things I popped in the basket and I was like, oh, what is that? So you basically, you know when you have hot chocolates you can like melt more chocolate in there, it's brilliant. But she basically popped it in a mug with hot water and it became this really, really nice, it's basically like a hand mask, like a face mask for your hands. I'm very excited to try this. My sister actually did, like, demoed it in the store, which was really fun. Then I got the Sunny Day Anti-Static Hair Detangler. If frizzy hair weather strikes, kick static to the curb with this sunny violet spray. So, you know, there's absolutely, there's no curve in it. I've got Hagrid hair. I've got Hagrid hair. I am, I'm all about this big hair. It's, it's, I can't help it. It's the humidity. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to try this. I've, I've, I've not actually tried anything from this haul just yet, but. Oh, it smells well nice. Well nice. Oh, I think I've got, got my face more than I got my hair then. Ooh. I got the Razzle Dazzle Bath Oil. If your hinges are rusting, give them the old ra Razzle Dazzle of Chicago on and pop it in the bath with Persian Lime and Bergamot oils, you'll be begging for more. Right, I believe these are the pink ones thing. Yeah, look at it, oh my God, yeah, yeah. So I don't really take too many baths, so there is a lack of bath bombs, but I wanna try bath oil, because I really love bath oils. So that is that one. And then I also got a, ah, here we go. Then those were two pounds. And then I got the Flowers Barrow bath oil. So this is, this says, heed the sages and walk back in time. But they've spelled it like T-H-Y-M-E. <laughs> Through sprawling brambles and nettles with this delphine flower melt. Let's go. And it's got rose oil, so that just, that just sells, sells it straight to me. Look at that, it just looks like a cabbage. Oh, it smells really nice though. So I'm really excited to see what this does in the bath because it looks like a cabbage. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna come off of that. Oh yes, really excited to try that one. Again, two pounds. And then I have another one, another bath oil. I like this one because it was like copper. <laughs> I enjoyed the aesthetic of it. There we go, there's that one. Oh, it smells like chocolate orange. I could eat it. One of the products that I am most excited for that is, is definitely a Oxford Street Lush exclusive is the Comforter Shower Cream, like a cuddle in a bottle, cypress oil, cassis absolute and bergamot oil, create an uplifting, reassuring fragrance. So if you like the, uh, the Comforter, which I do, then you'll love this. As I said, I'm more of a shower person, so this is more perfect, like this is absolutely perfect for me. I've had the comforter treatment at the Lush Spa, which I absolutely loved, so I'm just so excited. They had like seven different sizes of this, that's probably exaggeration, but like mini one, I think this is like either the medium, but there's, there was a huge one, I don't know if that was for sale, but oh yes, oh my God. Ah, look at it. Oh, I've definitely got that on my nose. It's worth it though. It smells like the comforter, but it also smells like sweets. But it's not sickly sweet, it just smells like old sweeties. Like, it smells like my raspberry ice lollies that I have in the fridge right now. <laughs> Look at it, I love it. I can't wait to put that in my shower now. I think this is the flamingo friend, is it? No, oh! I'm really excited about this one. This is, this is the damaged hot oil treatment. Replenish your hair with vanilla and avocado. There's no need to take the rough with the smooth. So this is a hair treatment. So when I saw this, I was like, yes. My hair's not damaged or anything, but there's absolutely no harm in making it like better, obviously. So I'm super excited to try that. And if you've tried any of the hair treatments from Lush, definitely let me know how you got on. My sister's tried the um, hair, henna like the hair it's not hair dye but it colors your hair with henna she's tried that and that worked really well so definitely let me know if you've tried any of the hair products 
this is a repurchase this is the lemon flutter cuticle butter so when you do your nails if you use like a cuticle push or a cuticle stick we'll get away all those all those bits that we don't want for a neat manicure and but I pop this on first around the cuticles and then I do it and it just makes it more just makes it more of an enjoyable experience it smells like lemons it's really moisturizing as well because the cuticles can get super dry so that just looks like that Oh my god, that's such, such lemon. This is my flamingo. This is a pink flamingo reusable bubble bar. So I like the bubble bars. And I like the bubble bars so much more than I like the bath bombs. My sister's more a bath bomb person. That's why I really wanted her in this video. Because she would have done like the bar. No, I broke a bit of it. No, flamingo, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, it's come off the stick. Oh, my carpet. Uh, here it is. Here, here. Flamingo. Frederick. There he is. Frederick the Flamingo. I really enjoy him. Oh, that's... Oh, my God. Why am I so rubbish at this? You know those lollies that are, like, powdery? Like, the lollipops that are, like, powdery? That's what it smells like. Oh, I really enjoy that. What did my sister... My sister described... I think there's a bath bomb called the Exper the Experimenter, maybe. And um, she described it as, it smells like a church, but sexy. And I was like, what? And I sniffed it, and she's so right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just a bubble bar. I really like the bubble bars, because you can just run them under the tap. And you can reuse them. But I think mine's coming off the stick. Poor Frederick. I got another one, which I couldn't, I couldn't not have. And it's the Cherry Blossom bubble bar. Look at it, it's so pretty. Love a bit of cherry blossom. Oh, that smells kind of gingery. Gingery floral. Maybe a teeny, teeny bit of cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon, but it's like a teeny, teeny bit. So, and again, that just, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I just thought that was really pretty. I really enjoy that. I want to have that on display like there. <laughs> it's just such a magic experience wandering around that Lush. It's three floors. They're just lovely. It's just, it's such an activity. Like one of the guys was saying how some people come to London just so they can go there. I don't blame them. It's such, like you could say, oh, what, sh what should we plan this afternoon? Should we go on the London Eye? Should we go to Madame Tussauds? I'd be like, no, let's go to Lush. It's such, it's like an afternoon treat. Got two makeup products. So in Louise's Lush haul, I saw she got some of the um, eye pigments. So I picked one up. This is the Skilled with Elegance and Ease eye powder, suitable for vegans, as they all are, and not tested on animals. I'm not gonna swatch this right now, because I know that it'll go everywhere. It's like pink, a little bit lilac-y, it's just so shimmery, and there's so, so much product in there. So I'm so excited to try that. And then I also got a lipstick in Affectionate, a liking of fondness, and it's just a really nice pink shade. It looks like this and I did swatch a lot of them and I just found that this one was the most ideal I might pop that on a bit later but I really love that I mean the makeup is quite expensive it's definitely I wouldn't class that it as drugstore but see the lipstick's £13.50 oh okay so I got this honey I washed my hair shampoo bar so again, a recommendation from my sister, she's used the shampoo bars before. I am very fussy with my shampoo, however, the woman was like, oh, that one's dog friendly, you can use it on your dog. I was like, yeah, I will. Because at the moment, I just use Johnson's baby shampoo, because that's what the vet has told me to do, and he smells lush, and it's absolutely harmless. I mean, if, if it's good enough for babies, it's good enough for Mad Pug, right? So... I thought I would try it and I'm really excited too. I've looked online, a lot of other people have used it for their dog baths as well. I just thought that would be like a fun thing to do. And obviously you can use it more than once, especially if it's just for a dog. And it smells so nice. So, oh, it just smells clean and ba it smells like baby. Baby and clean, a little bit floral. So I'm really excited to try that on my little pup. I probably will try it for myself as well because it does smell really nice. And then finally, one of my all-time favourite Lush products that I just love is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner, packed full of ingredients to feed, nourish, to feed and nourish the skin, argan oil, cocoa butter, load of butters. It just smells absolutely flawless. Oh my gosh. So when I get out of the bath, I literally put it on as a leave-in conditioner in my skin. 
when they do the demos, they rub it in and then they rinse it right off. I leave it in because it's essentially like a leave-in skin conditioner for me and it just lasts all day and you can smell it throughout the day if people are like, what perfume are you wearing? And I'm like, body butter. So I really recommend that if you want to smell like roses all day. <laughs> and that is my Lush haul. That is the third haul of July Haulathon. I really hope you liked it. I just want to say, sorry, I know it was super rambly. I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to Lush, but I just wanted to show you what I got because I absolutely love watching Lush hauls and I feel like unless you work there, we're all going to be the same. We're all going to be like, oh yeah, that smells really nice. But I just wanted to show you what I got and uh, some variations of things. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please let me know if you've been to the Oxford Street Lush, the new three story one. Let me know if you've picked up any of their exclusive products and if you recommend them to me. I'm, I'm dying to go back. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next haul. Bye!